hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice math olympiad geometric problem and here we have a nice right triangle in which the length of one side is 89 and we will find the area and parameter of this right triangle so here you know that it is right triangle so uh, now i can named this side is small a and we named this side is small b and this side is small c and you know that the side opposite to the right angle is known as hypotenuse and if we have this is the any other angle so uh, this side is known as the base and this side is known as the perpendicular or altitude so that uh, now uh, in this less information we will find the area and parameter of this right triangle uh, so, uh, because this is the right triangle, so now we first find the, uh, the length of the other two sides of this right triangle and then we move towards the area and parameter. So, you know that uh, this is right triangle and we will use here uh, the Pythagorean theorem. So, you know about Pythagorean theorem, it is hypotenuse square equals to base square plus uh, perpendicular square. And now uh, you see here we have the base of the triangle or hypotenuse of this triangle is C square and our base is A square and the value of perpendicular is 89 squared. So now we move this A square in the left hand side and we get here C square minus A square equals to the square of uh, 89 equals to 7980. 21 so uh, in the next step uh, you will see here uh, we open the c square minus a square formula so you get here c minus a times of c plus a equals to 7921 so now you focus on the left hand side and you see that we have uh, two values there so uh, or, or two factors so now we need to take need to make a uh, two factors in the right hand side uh, so uh, 7900 the, the two factors of this term are 7921 multiplied by 1 and its other factor is 89 multiplied by 89 so here we have these two factors or uh, so now we can uh, we can check that uh, which factor is suitable for these values so here we divide our question into the uh, two cases so here uh, I can write our case number one and here I can write our case number two so now first we solve or move towards the case number one so in case number one uh, we will write here the value of uh, C minus A equals to uh, one and the value of uh, c uh, so first i can write the value of c plus a it is equals to 7921 and we have c minus a equals to 1 similarly if we compare on case number 2 so this is the our case number 2 so in this case we write here c plus a equals to 89 and c minus a equals to again 89 so now first we focus on the uh, case number two and uh, in case number two you see here when we uh, subtract these two values so you can just change these signs and here you get these are uh, sorry these are gone and we will obtain a plus a equals to two times of a and these are also gone and here you get zero so in this case you will get the value of a equals to zero so it means that if a equals to 0 so it means that our base is 0 and we know that the length of any side of triangle cannot be 0 so uh, if this uh, in case number 2 if we get a equals to 0 so it means that uh, it is not possible and we will reject it this case okay because it will it will gives us our the one side of length of one side of triangle is zero so we rejected this case and we will proceed here this case only and in this case 
we now find the values of a and b so that we will first uh, i can named this as equation number one this as equation number two so now first we add one plus two so when you add these two so here you see that a and a are gone you will add here two times of c equals to seven thousand nine hundred and twenty two and when we divide uh, 7922 by 2 then you get here the value of c equals to 3961 so this is the second value or hypotenuse of our given right triangle and now we move towards uh, to find the value of a so that in order to find the value of a we will subtract 1 and 2 so now i can write here when we subtract equation number one by equation number two then you obtain here when you subtract these two values then uh, the c are cancelled by each other and we add a and you get here two times of a equals to seven thousand and nine hundred because we subtract so it is twenty so we get here seven thousand nine hundred and twenty and when we move this two on the right hand side then you get the value of a equals to 3960 so we can get the value the uh, the length of other two sides of the given triangle so here we we have the length of a equals to 3960 and the length of c equals to 3961 so now we will easily find the area and parameter of the given triangle so now first i can write here all the length and all the uh, all the length of the sides of the triangle so here we have a equals to 3960 the length of uh, our uh, b equals to 89 it is given and the length of c equals to 3961 so these are the three uh, length of all the uh, three sides of the triangle uh, so now we can first find the parameter so we have our parameter uh, equals to a plus b plus c sum of all the three sides of the triangle so you get here 3960 plus 89 plus 3961 so when we uh, add all these three values then you get here 8010 sk units so this is the parameter of uh, the given triangle so now in order to find the area uh, we will use here the nice formula of area of the triangle and you know that area of triangle ABC equals to 1 over 2 times of base and our base is A and altitude is B uh, so uh, you get here 1 over 2 times of uh, the value of a is 3960 and the value of b is uh, 89 so when we multiply 3960 by 89 and divide it by 2 so we get here our final answer is 176220 so this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos